Hey everybody, welcome back to Code Dynamic Websites with PHP. This lecture is called Dynamic Copyright and Hours of Operation. And in this video, we're going to go through and add the copyright information to the bottom of our footer, but it's going to be dynamic. So it's going to know the current year, so it's always up to date. And the hours of operation, we're going to install a PHP plugin that will determine if our store is open or closed. So let's jump right in. All right, so in your code editor, make sure you open the footer.php file in your includes folder within the student folder. In your footer.php file, this is where we added all of the footer information. So the phone number, the location, our hours of operation, and the copyright information, plus the closing body and HTML tags. Currently, this is all static, so we're not actually using uh, the utilizing PHP to make our footer a bit more dynamic. And so that's what we're going to do here. So let's start with the, the easiest part, which is making the, uh, uh, the date, uh, copyright date, dynamic. So all you really need to do here, we've done this a whole bunch in throughout the entire course. So you might have already, you might already know how to do this, and you've already done it, but this is how you do it. So let's remove the 2014 and PHP echo date, the date function. And then as a parameter, you put Y and that's going capital Y. That's going to give you the full year. So 2014, currently it's 2014. All right. And here, what we're going to do is we're going to do something a little bit more fun. And we're going to PHP echo a variable called company name. Now, I don't believe we actually have this variable created yet. So let's go to our header.php file. And up here at the very top in our PHP script, right above the include, let's add the variable company name. And the, the value of the company name variable will be Franklin's Fine Dining because that is what this fictional restaurant is called. Save that. And then go back to your footer.php. And now this company name variable should actually be valid. And your footer will have a dynamic year and a dynamic variable, uh, which is the restaurant name. So let's check that out. All right, so copyright 2014, Franklin's Fine Dining. Perfect. So that's actually working. This is the current year. If you're uh, from the future and you're looking at this in, say, 2015, then this will say 2015 if it's done correctly. And Franklin's Fine Dining is the variable. If you change the variable, obviously this will change. So let's move on and do something here with the hours of operation. So back in our code editor, what we're going to do is we're actually going to leave the hours here static because this, this is what it is. But the special part is we're going to install a PHP script or plugin that will determine if the store is open or closed based on the hours of operation that we uh, set as parameters within the plugin. So first thing you're going to need to do is go to a specific website URL, github.com slash Corey Etzcorn slash PHP store hours. You'll see a page that looks like this. And all you need to do is click on download zip. And what that will do is download the zip file with all of these files in it. So the readme index and store hours. So I will open that folder up in my finder. And it is a zip file, I'm going to unzip it. And here's the folder, all I really need is the store hours.php file. Because the index is just the example. The readme is just if you want to go through it to see how you use it, which you totally can. And the store hours is the plugin itself. So take the store hours and drag it if you're using a Mac to your code editor and drop it in your includes folder. So store hours. I'll show you what it looks like. So here's the store hours plugin. And it has a bunch of PHP. And all we really need to edit is what it actually says here from on line nine, 
uh, there's a comment that says edit following section only. And then somewhere down here, it will say end editing. So you don't need to touch any of this stuff down here. In fact, it's not recommended. Everything here is what you can play with. But before we get into that, we need to do something. Uh, you need to go back to your footer.php file. And under the, let's say, the Sunday to Monday text here at the very bottom, I'm going to PHP include the includes folder store dash hours dot PHP. So that's going to call PHP is going to call or include that file within this section right here. So it's actually going to take the contents of that PHP script and uh, insert it right here. Now the contents of the script, go back to store hours. It looks like there's a lot here, but it's actually going to spit out something very simple. So there's a lot of work that went into this just to, to show you one simple HTML line. So when I include this in my footer.php, include store hours, it's going to include the line that the store hours script will echo. But in order for that to echo the right line, we need to go in and configure our store hours plugin. So go back to store hours and let's start editing. Okay, so the first things first is you need to set your default time zone. And you can go to this URL right here, php.net slash manual slash en for English slash time zones .php, And it will give you a list of all of the predefined time zones. And then you can ch choose your time zone. So for me, the closest time zone or the time zone that PHP will let me use is America slash Edmonton. Okay, so I've set that. Now define the daily open hours. It must be in 24 hour format separated by a dash. If you're closed for the day, set to all zeros in this syntax. If open multiple times in one day, I'll enter the time ranges separated by comma. If open late, for example, 6 p.m. to 1 a.m., add hours after midnight to the next day. For example, like this. Now we won't be using too much of this. Uh, our hours of operation are actually quite simple, but let's, uh, let's go ahead and start changing our hours array to work for us. Okay, so, we have uh, right here, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Let's start with Monday. Now, let's take a quick look at our hours. Okay, so it looks like Sunday, Monday, we're closed. So, like it's set up in the description right here, if we're closed, we need to set to all zeros. So, zero, zero, colon, zero, zero, dash, zero, zero, colon, zero, zero. So, we're closed on Monday. And we're also closed on Sunday. So let's just copy that and paste it down here in the Sunday array. Okay, now Tuesday, we are open from, I believe it was 1 until 9 p.m. Am I right? Yes. So Tuesday to Thursday, that's the case. So 24-hour format, 1 o'clock is 1,300. And 9 would be 2,100. And we don't need to separate by comma because there's only one time frame in the day that will be needing to be open. So now let's copy that and actually paste it uh, all the way to Thursday. Now we change here on Friday from four o'clock to 11 o'clock, am I right? Yes. So four o'clock is 1600 and 11 o'clock is 2300. Saturday, is the same time. We're open Friday, Saturday at the same time. And paste that, and there we should be good to go. Now, if you go down, here's an optional section you can add here. So optional, add exceptions uh, for holidays and things like that. Works best with the format day slash month, leave array empty if there are no exceptions. So this would be if your store is closed, say Christmas Day, Christmas Eve, uh, New Year's Day, you know, if you have specific days that your company or your store, restaurant, whatever it is, takes off, this is where you would add that. And we'll actually say 1225, because that is Christmas Day. Uh, and then New Year's Day, let's be closed as well. And it's already set to 1-1, January 1st. Perfect. So 
that should be it for that. Now let's go down. And the last section here, we have the HTML output. This is the line that will show in the browser. So uh, you can read the rest of this here to see what kind of syntax and everything you can use for this output. But this is what uh, it looks like. So open now, the variable open now, this is the text it will show. Closed now, this is the text, closed all day and exception. So this will uh, spit out all of the appropriate text based on the hours of the day and the times of the year that you are open and closed. Time format, you don't necessarily need to change this, but if you want to, you can go to the PHP date function page to see the options that you want to list the time, if you want it to be specific uh, about how you want the time to display. Down here is the day short code, uh, and it's used up here, you could see, percent day percent. This is the how the days are used. So it's an array, Monday all the way through Sunday, and you could, type out in the value uh, of the array uh, how you want the specific days to be displayed. So I, I would like them to display as Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. Because this is what's going to show up here in our HTML output. And so really that's it. That's basically how that plugin works. So if I save that, and now let's go back to our uh, example, refresh it. And you'll see some text pop up here. So sorry, we're closed. Today's hours are one until nine. Obviously, uh, this looks disgusting because something is happening. If the HTML that's being spit out doesn't have the correct style, so we can go back and fix that pretty easily. Um, one thing I forgot was here in the HTML output. I don't actually want level three headings. I want them to be strong tags. And I added a class to uh, the CSS for open and closed text. So when it's open, it will be green. When we're closed, it will be red. So change all of your H3s to strong. I'm just going to go through and do that right now. H3 strong. Looks like this here didn't have a closing tag, so make sure to add that. Strong, strong, so strong, very strong. Cool. One last thing. Let's add some classes to the strong tag. So for open, we're going to add the class open. And be sure to use single quotation marks here because we are currently within double quotation marks and we don't want to cancel them out. So class open for the open uh, HTML output. Class closed for the closed HTML output. Looks like that's all the rest of them. So add that to the strong tag, save that, now go back to your website. Here we go. So for me, it is a Wednesday at 12.45 p.m., which means we should be open from 1 to 9. So currently, it says, sorry, we're closed. Today's hours are 1 until 9. When it is 1 o'clock until 9 today, for me, uh, the this will be green and will say, Yes, we're open. Today's hours are 1 until 9. So that's how the PHP plugin works. And there are many PHP plugins out there. So if you don't want to build something yourself, sometimes it's too hard or it's out of your uh, skill level, or you just don't want to reinvent the wheel and somebody's already done it really good. There's a lot of really good PHP developers out there. And there's a lot of open source plugins. That means they're free. People work on them all the time. So you can... You can uh, come up with really cool things like this uh, without having to do too much work yourself if it's already been done really well. So that's what we did here. And hopefully that made sense. If not, you can go back and check out the lecture again. Uh, otherwise, I'll see you in the next lecture. See you there.